I know you want money in your business and I know pricing is a huge struggle when it comes to starting your business and I definitely want to teach you some pricing strategies to help start your event designing business. So if that's something that you like and that's something that you need, grab a pen, grab a paper, grab some water because we're going to cover a lot in today's video. Hey designers, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is invite... I done forgot my little slogan. <laughs> Let's try it again. Where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. I'm going to be very honest with you. I was very hesitant about putting a video about pricing strategies when it comes to jumpstarting your event designing business because I am not the expert. Let's just make that 100% clear. That is my disclaimer in this video. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not even an accountant, even though I was good at it in high school. I am not, I'm not even an expert in event designing. I just know what worked for me. And if you're interested in learning, I want to teach you guys. I want to teach you the strategies that I utilize in the beginning stages of my event designing business. You know, for a long time when it came to designing my event designing business, designing my event designing business, sure. If I get stuttered in my words, I apologize. <laughs> I have been so lost. I avoid this question and I'm telling you, I know I say, this is the number one tip I'm giving away. This is the number one thing I get asked. No, this is my ultimate number one question that every designer DMs me on Instagram with. How do I price my packages for my business? So in this video, we're actually going to cover some common misconceptions when it comes to pricing in your business, along with the actual strategies to use. So that way you are successful with developing the prices and packages for your services and your products and your event designing business. All right, so here's the first misconception. Pricing increase equals will lose customers. Yes, you will. So I want y'all to write that down. Pricing increase will lose and put in parentheses some customers because a lot of designers feel this way when it comes to increasing their price. And the reason why I say this is because most beginning entrepreneurs feel very uncomfortable with raising their price, knowing that they finally have people paying. But I'm letting you know right now, your clients, your future customers, your potential clients, they're not buying your packages. Justine, are you kidding me? Yes, they are. Why are you telling these people they're not buying? They are. No, they're not. They're not buying them. Trust me. Justine, can you stop lying to these people? Sorry, I was just doing a little skit there. <laughs> But what I mean is your clients don't buy your products or services, but they do buy you. You are the reason people will pull out money and say, here, take it. I want you to help me. As event designers, we are solving problems in the most creative way. I know this is hard to believe, but not everybody's as talented as us. And that is just the truth. I couldn't believe it because I'm like, it's simple. Balloon garlands are real easy. Like, come on. But most people, one, don't want to do it. And then two, they can't do it. Even with my tutorials. <laughs> Even when I show how to do it, people were still willing to pay me to do it. And that just speaks of the value that I bring to them. They didn't want to learn, they didn't want to figure it out, and they don't want to do it. Think about it. When you go get your car repaired, you can learn how to change your own oil. I know my husband has always wanted me to change my own oil. I refuse. Because I, this is not for me. I don't like to learn. I don't want to do it. I don't have the patience. And I'd rather just pay someone to do it. 
That is you for your clients. You are the value. Your products, your services, they are the reason why they're willing to dig in their pockets and pay you. The second misconception is price increase will equal to losing that competitor's edge. Your competitors don't have what you have. There is nothing wrong with you guys learning from me and my tutorials for balloon garlands and taking that upon yourself and promoting that as a service that you provide for your clients. You are taking my idea and my tutorial and turning it into your own. Although we may buy the same packages, we do not structure it the same. I do it my way, you have it your way. Therefore, your prices should not parallel with your competitors. You are not a gas station. And I love that terminology because gas stations have to keep an eye out on everyone and every other gas station around their area. That's not us. No, honey. Let that go. We are different. If our neighbors who are event designers or wedding planners or whatever, they have their own style and you have yours. I have my own style and you have yours. You cannot look at your competitors as a way to price your packages. Now, before you guys write your comment down below and argue with me that you were like, Justine, you told me in the last video to look at my competitors. You're absolutely right. You're supposed to take a glance to ensure that you're not undercharging or overcharging. But that's it. After you know what your competitors are charging in your local area, that is it. That is the only time and the one time you should be looking at your competitors. It's just for research. It's just so you're aware of what is being charged in your area. Because the biggest misconception, people will DM me and be like, well, what do you charge? It doesn't matter what I charge. If you don't live in Orlando and you live all the way in, in LA or if you live in Australia, you have to take that into full account. So increasing your price will not lose your competitive edge because remember, we're not looking at our competitors. We're only looking at them, just see what everybody's charging, okay? And then where are we going to live? You don't have to live within that range. You can live below it, you can live above it, or you can live right in the middle. It's up to you and what you're delivering. The last misconception that I want to address is business objective for pricing is set it and forget it. Okay, I'm not going to stress. If you set your prices, that is great. Kudos. Bravo. However, if your prices don't evolve with what you're delivering, then you have failed. As an entrepreneur, not we're taking off the oh, yeah, I'm a designer. No, no, no. You're an entrepreneur first. An entrepreneur understands that pricing is fluid. And what that means is that it's ever changing because you will get better. You will get better with every event that you do and everything that you practice. It doesn't even have to be a full event. Look at this video right here. This video, I had no idea. First of all, I only use 12 inch balloons compared to this video right here. That difference is a couple of months. So do you think this balloon garland pr was priced the same as this one? No because it's fluid. I want y'all to do that motion. <laughs> Just kidding. The most successful entrepreneurs understand this, that prices are ever changing and that they're fluid. They will match the value of the product and services they bring. And as you get better, we'll talk about what the strategies you should use when it comes to pricing your services or your products. So before we move on, let me know down below, comment down below, what is your biggest struggle when it comes to pricing? Maybe it's not those three misconceptions that I, I mentioned. Maybe it's something else, and I really want to genuinely help you. So if you have a struggle where you don't understand something about pricing, please let me know, and I'll definitely comment and read it and take it into consideration for maybe an update. All right, so let's discuss the pricing strategies you need to use for your event designing business. When it comes to pricing your services or product for your event designing business, you want to take into consideration these four things. So the first one is experience level. I want you to understand there is nothing wrong that y'all want a million dollar business. Who doesn't? However, be comfortable 
with your little bit of experience and understanding that you still have room to grow. So I am not going to charge thousands of dollars for a balloon garland knowing that I don't have experience on how to deliver a thousand dollar balloon garland. Let's just keep that 100%. You have to be truthful with yourself. We all want to make hundreds and thousands of dollars in our business. Who doesn't? If you do, like this video, please. Give me a big thumbs up because I want to be a millionaire. <laughs> Who doesn't? However, when I first started, I had to really think about what is the experience. Remember, this balloon garland right here, I can't charge thousands of dollars knowing that it looks like that. Okay, And I'm just being truthful about my own work. So take an account of what you're delivering. Be confident, but also understand, give room for growth because you will get better. Geography, all local areas should not be treated the same. My local area, although I am in Orlando, Florida, within Orlando, there are neighborhoods and communities and other cities that create this large, vast, you know, Central Florida, Disney Wonderland. My price? cannot match the price in a neighborhood called Winter Park. You have to understand, know your local. And when I mean local, I mean condense it to about 10 mile radius of what in that area are they charging. Then expand and keep expanding. Now, I wouldn't care about statewide because it varies from city to city, but you want to expand that radius a little further on so that way as you're growing, you know that, let's say, for instance, for me in Orlando, I am the number one Central Florida cookie designer. Come contact me and get your cookies. <laughs> The third one was ideal client. Now, I'm not going to go into super depth about the ideal client. If you want, definitely check that out. I know I keep bringing it up, but I really want you guys to understand you have to know who you're targeting in order for your prices to match that person. Because your ideal client, if they're making fifteen dollars to $20,000 a year and you're trying to charge premium prices, eh, it doesn't work. Okay, You want to make sure that ideal client is making enough money to pay for your services. Take into consideration the profit. How much do you want to make? And we're gonna break down what profit actually is when it comes to pricing your services and products in your event designing business. Profit is how much money you wanna make in your business when it comes to your product or services. There are four categories that I wanna cover when it comes to your profit. Your value, just like I mentioned early on in this video, dictates your price. It is the number one reason why of why you can justify why your prices are the way they are. Most people will give you a little resistance when it comes to spending a lot of money on their events. When you say, oh, I charge $1,000 for this package, they're like, oh, oh, no, it's too much. I can't. When you bring value to your clients on your digital platform, let's use uh, social media. Are you giving out tips? Are you giving out hacks? Are you giving out common mistakes that your clients don't realize that they're making? That's what I'm doing for you. Okay, you can turn this strategy and help them realize what value you bring. Your value is the most important thing when it comes to your prices. I know you guys are looking for answers like, well, what do you charge? It don't matter what I charge because what I did was a mistake. I'm teaching you what I would have taught myself had I known. So let's say, for instance, you want to be an event planner. Well, what does that look like? Okay, well, three to six months prior to your event, I'm walking you with all these vendors. I'm so I want you guys to understand when it comes to delivering your prices, understand your packages so right now what i want you to do is write down what do you do when you go to those events and when you're going to take those tasks and you're going to fluff it up and make it nice and pretty into your packages so let's say for instance an example would be i set up the balloon garland Make it look beautiful because that value that you bring your clients is the justification why they should be paying what you're charging. And if a client don't want to pay, 
your time is the second thing you want to consider when it comes to your prices when i first did this balloon garland i always refer to it because it was the first balloon garland i ever did in my entire life and it took me three hours a little sweaty right there because I can't imagine doing a balloon garland for three hours. That's just me. I can knock a balloon garland out in less than an hour because of practice. You want to take your time into consideration. If you're designing a balloon garland or if you're designing a dessert table, you want to make sure that you're taking into account on how much time it takes to do that setup. The way you do that, you have to time yourself. You have to literally practice in your house. This is what I used to do. I used to practice in my house. Put my timer on my phone and literally from start to finish of when I would leave, that's how long it would take me. So make sure you're giving the amount of money per hour. A lot of people break that down too. They do um, how much they want to charge per hour and then they add that to their price as well. Some things you want to consider when it comes to your time is how much time does it take to communicate with your client? The time it takes to get the items for the event. Time spent driving back and forth between venue. Maybe you have to go to the location prior to the event. Your time is a value. Your time is money. Entrepreneurs understand for every hour I spent, how much money am I making? And the cost. The cost of you want to take into consideration of how much does it cost to do your product services. If you're doing cookies, if you're doing cakes, if you're doing backdrops, whatever you're considering, think about how much does that cost you to create, tally it up with your time, and then the value that you're bringing as well. The last pricing strategy that you can do for your services in the event designing business is something that is not quantitative, it's qualitative. What are you giving up? When I go to my events, I'm giving up time spent with my family and I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it because all events are on the weekend and that's usually when my family is off and I know most of you guys don't know but my sister had her baby so now more than ever I'm trying to spend as much time with her and him along with my mom um, and, and with everybody to be honest all in my family because time is consistent constant and we won't get it back. So when you come to price your services and products, you have to think about what are you giving up? Are you giving up time spent with your kids? Are you giving up, you know, looking for that special person in a relationship? Your price needs to be worth it. If not, you're not going to survive as, an, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, or even an event designer. Here's the formula. Take in consideration your value plus your time, how long it takes you, plus the cost equals your price and that price should be worth what you're giving up i hope you guys are designing your dreams into reality and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye are you gonna be a millionaire i'm gonna be a millionaire <laughs>